So let's say you're doing six figures and you're looking at moving abroad or you're already abroad. So you want to set out, instead of what most guys do, which is they're thinking about how do I make my income meet my budget? And they're defensive oriented. And I was speaking with a client of mine and he was a real wild boy in his 20s living out in Latin America, going to countries, doing crazy things, running around with girls. And Latin America tends to attract the most cowboy types. And we were talking about how many guys that he met are still over there. And maybe it's only 20, 10, 20%, right? And the number one thing we, we figured out that the guy eventually went back to America to get a job or he's working as like a English teacher in Colombia or something, he kind of gave up on the, on the entrepreneur dream, uh, was that they were defensive oriented, meaning they were always trying to think about how do I live for 1500 a month instead of saying, I'm out here at 23, I'm making 1500 a month, that's enough to live. How do I get to 10K? How do I get to 20K? How do I get, how do I get to 30K? And the guys that were more aggressive oriented would be spending their whole budget. Sometimes they'd be taking out some you know, personal credit cards, which I don't recommend. I, I always recommend staying in your budget. But they weren't worried about you know, going out and spending 100 bucks at a bar or something. I've noticed the same pattern. I've been living abroad for eight years. The guys that don't have you know, extreme aggression on getting money never, never get it. And, you know, a lot of them, when they see the, the real struggle of, of entrepreneurship, are more comfortable working, going back and realizing it's not cut out for them and getting a job or something, giving up on the dream. Um, because they're not able to see the bright future with a bunch of money and they're not really hungry to go get it. They'd rather go work for somebody else and get 2% of that person's revenue, if you think about it. Like going to, going to work a job is saying, I'm more secure, I feel more secure with 2% of someone else's revenue than 100% of mine, okay? And it's, it's quite shocking when you think about it in that way. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you watching this would ever go back to getting a job or whatever, but it, it's the mindset of the defensive-oriented guy. You know, Grant Cardone makes a good point that income solves all problems. Now, I don't recommend getting a bunch of dumb lifestyle leaks and leaks and spending more than you earn, um, you know, for any amount of time. And, you know, the second you start making 20K a month, you're going to the club and spending all of it at the club and all this dumb shit and, you know, getting a Ferrari. That stuff you can do a bit later on in moderation, you know, as, as it's still, you know, a fraction of your monthly income. I don't, I don't recommend spending more than your monthly income per month just as a general rule. But I really recommend getting aggressive at getting your income from 10K to 30K, 40K, 100K, whatever it is, especially with what's happening in the world today with inflation, AI, there's gonna be a monetary reset. Um, you know, now's the time to be very aggressive in the current window that we have. 